This is Mr. Krabs, the owner of the Krusty Krabs, greediest man on earth. What is a Krabby Patty made of? Sponge, whale, or crab? You may think he's just a crustaceous cheapskate, but you may be very wrong. For years, Mr. Krabs built a reputation of being the cheapest thing in Bikini Bottom. What if I told you that Mr. Krabs is not who you think he is and may even beat Plankton in the game of evil? Mr. Krabs is evil because of what the Krabby Patty is made of, serial killing, and much more. He's hiding something inside the formula which is changing Bikini Bottom. He has a dark side. But how extreme is it? Well, we are just about to find out since there are six theories to prove the dark secret of Mr. Krabs. Make sure to stick to the end to see the biggest theory ever. <coughs> to prove this, in Bikini Bottom, other than Mr. Krabs and his family, there really is no other crab in Bikini Bottom that we know of. Where did the rest of the crabs go? In the episode Cracked Crabs, Mr. Krabs goes to the cheapest crab convention where he meets and competes with other crabs, but I believe that they do not live in Bikini Bottom. Clearly he might have spare crabs from another city just in case the crab population dies out in Bikini Bottom. If you take a look at the Krusty Krab menu, you can see that all the key ingredients are in the name of the item. Another evidence to support this is that the shape of the Krusty Krab is shaped like a crab trap. This obviously proves that Mr. Krabs is killing his fellow crab friends and using them as patty meat. Also if you look at the meat, it's red. You know what else is red? Mr. Krabs. Clearly this guy could be using meat of his own kind and eating it, which makes him a cannibalistic freak. In the episode Friend or Foe, Mr. Krabs and Plankton were telling the story of them as kids when they were best friends. They were telling the true story of how the Krabby Patty was made and how their favorite restaurant was shut down due to health concerns. So they started working hard and eventually the Krabby Patty was born. However, Mr. Krabs and Plankton had a fight over the patty, tearing the formula in half. Plankton got the first half, which said a pinch of chum. If you don't know what chum is, well, it's crushed up dead fish. We currently know the Krabby Patty is made of crab and a pinch of chum, but you will lose your mind when I tell you the next ingredient. There was a post made in 2012 stating that the Krabby Patty has a pinch of Poseidon powder. Poseidon is the god of the sea, but what exactly is Poseidon powder? I researched what Poseidon powder is, and I found out it means cocaine. I also made a Google search on the Krabby Patty's ingredient, and it said on the Google page that it's cocaine. This explains why Spongebob is always hyper and full of energy. This theory proves that Krabby Patties are made of crabs, plus a pinch of Poseidon powder and chum, which explains why everybody loves Krabby Patties. <laughs> Have you ever wondered how Mr. Krabs is the father of Pearl? Well, it's biologically impossible since a whale and a crab cannot give birth to a whale. My theory is that Mr. Krabs killed Pearl's real family and probably used them as meat to sell at the Krusty Krabs when he was short of crabs. But why does Mr. Krabs still have Pearl and does not want to use her as patty meat? Well, he's probably waiting for a day to kill Pearl. You might be thinking this is impossible for a father to kill a daughter. Well, think about it. Mr. Krabs is the greediest person in Bikini Bottom and it would make sense that if someone is very greedy, they can go out of their way to get what they want, which in Mr. Krabs' case is money according to my theory. In one of the earlier episodes, Sleepy Time, Spongebob went to Mr. Krabs' dream cloud where Mr. Krabs said he's fishing for Moby Dollar, which is a reference to Moby Dick, a book about killing a whale. I think he killed Pearl's mother and has nightmares to this day. Mr. Krabs is waiting for Pearl to grow bigger and bigger because whales normally stop growing at the age of 40. This explains why Mr. Krabs wanted to keep feeding Pearl when she was on an extreme hunger. And currently she is about 15 years old 
He wants to use her for an endless supply of Krabby Patties. I mean, think about it. This is a genius plan, waiting for the child to get older and bigger and collect 10 times the meat. The only reason Mr. Krabs tells everybody that Pearl is his daughter is so he can get away from the murder he's about to do. So in the episode Nasty Patty, there was a health inspector that is required by law to inspect every single restaurant in Bikini Bottom. What we find shocking is that Mr. Krabs is scared of him. Why do you think Mr. Krabs is scared of the health inspector? Clearly Mr. Krabs would be scared of him if he was doing something wrong. In the episode Nasty Patty, he can smell the health inspector from his office which means he has confronted him many times and developed the senses to detect him. The thing is that the health inspector looked very, very angry that he could kill someone. Literally. Maybe him and Mr. Krabs are enemies and the health inspector probably knows or suspects the Krabby Patty formula is made out of crab meat but does not have sufficient proof to get Mr. Krabs arrested. Mr. Krabs is highly paranoid of the cops and health inspector that he poisoned the inspector and blamed Spongebob on the murder. <laughs> Krabs is protecting the recipe of the Krabby Patty formula from Plankton, but maybe he's not only protecting it for saving his restaurant but he might be protecting himself from being punished for cannibalism. When Plankton and Mr. Krabs were kids, they both made the recipe together of the Krabby Patty. Even after Plankton's hard work, Mr. Krabs is not giving any credit to Plankton for the recipe, but according to my theory, Plankton might be suspecting Mr. Krabs' true recipe. Maybe he wants to expose Mr. Krabs to the whole town and shut his restaurant in town. In the episode, Mr. Krabs was showing his friends a room where he has security footage of all Bikini Bottom residents. This is very creepy since only an evil man would go this far. This episode proves that Mr. Krabs has a dark side which we all might see in future episodes. My house is on TV! All of our houses are on TV! If you ever watch the episode The Krusty Sponge, in this episode, Krabs is thinking that Spongebob is making a very big impact on his restaurant, so he decides to brand the Krusty Krab to be Sponge. He goes far to make Sponge plates, Sponge cups, Sponge ketchup, Sponge condiments, Sponge ketchup packets, you name it. But Mr. Krabs went very, very far and actually made something called spongy patties we still don't know what a spongy patty is but it looks exactly like spongebob mr krabs fed it to the whole crusty crab now you might be thinking where is all the sponge meat coming from well some of it might be coming from spongebob some of it might be coming from other sponges that are related to spongebob or just live in bikini bottom we really don't know where he got the meat from but there is a theory, he's using Spongebob's meat. Since Spongebob is a sponge, he can regrow his body parts as you can see in one of the episodes where Spongebob was scared of the hash slinging slasher and kept regrowing his limbs. Not only that, but it seems like Mr. Krabs is controlling Spongebob's mind. Spongebob was a normal kid in the first episode just looking for a job. But ever since he got a job, you can tell each season Spongebob is getting weirder and weirder, and all behind this is Mr. Krabs. As you can see in the Krabby Chronicle episode, Mr. Krabs keeps getting angry at Spongebob when he doesn't satisfy his needs, and in many other episodes, Mr. Krabs gets angry at him when he does something against his will. Clearly, you can see that Spongebob is getting controlled by Mr. Krabs, and Mr. Krabs is controlling his mental state and making him do whatever Mr. Krabs wants. That's why Mr. Krabs loves Spongebob since he literally found a free robot that he could boss around for the rest of his life. Back to the Krabby Patties. When people started to eat them, they started turning into zombies. Now there's a really great reason why this happened because you can get poisoned by eating somebody else's meat. For example, if you eat raw meat, 
You might start getting contaminated, but everyone turned into zombies. That is probably because of the sponge patty. There's no doubt about it, because it's called a sponge patty. For a reason now, why would Mr. Krabs go very far just to make sponge patties for customers? Maybe Spongebob is contaminated with something that Mr. Krabs put inside the spongy patties to control him and is now trying to feed it to the whole bikini bottom so they can be controlled by Mr. Krabs just by a transmission of bacteria from the sponge. I need you to unpack these boxes. What's that? Condiments. We got tangy spongy sauce and mild bobby sauce for the not so daring. We got SpongeBob drinking straws, coasters, bibs, and my personal favorite, SpongeBob ice cubes. Of this, spongy patties. Spongy patties. And that's how the theory ends. And I'm telling you guys, this is not an accident. This stuff is planned for a reason. You might be thinking this is just a lame old cartoon that you watch on a Saturday morning. But no, this holds a lot of history, maybe even more history than any movie can. So this is a conspiracy of Mr. Krabs and is a dark secret Mr. Krabs might be holding. Spongebob might be controlled by Mr. Krabs. And Mr. Krabs might be using meat from Krabs. Who knows what happened, but keep in mind that this is just a theory and it is most likely what happened in Spongebob Squarepants. With that being said, Please check out my other theories where I uncover the meaning behind a character and an episode. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, subscribe to never miss another theory. Well, little Patty, we've both lost our luster. Mm, so that's what I taste like. That's it, boys. Uh, 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 this isn't what it looks like, SpongeBob. Uh, we're just. Uh